Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It is December the 30th, 2013, and I'd like to share a quick little tutorial screencast to show you how you can migrate podcast generator sites that you may have created previously to a new web server. If you're not familiar with Podcast Generator, it is really a wonderful open source software program. It was just updated at the end of November 2013, and a couple years ago I started using it as a fast way to publish mp3 audio files in a true podcast feed on a hosted web server. Earlier tonight, I migrated a one of the sites that I needed to, to migrate um, called Stories of Christian Faith. And what I'm going to show you how to do now is the, the basically the steps uh, for this migration process. So I used the cPanel of my old web server to create a zip archive of the entire site for both this site and another one that I, I use for lecture casts. And when you simply move that site over, it's got some errors, and so there are some things that you need to do in order to uh, get this to work. And what we're basically going to do is install a new copy of Podcast Generator and then move in the media files and then both of the feeds. So uh, you want to go ahead and download Podcast Generator first. And what I'm going to do now is um, this folder that I'm in right now is an extracted or expanded copy of an, the entire folder that I um, had um, uh, previously had on another server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder call, uh, that I'm just going to call temp. And again, I'm using <coughs> cPanel um, on my web host uh, and the file, file manager to be able to do this. And I'm just going to move all of these files into this temporary folder. Um, because what I want to do is actually just install a new copy of Podcast Generator. So I need to move those into temp. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and upload um, the Podcast Generator uh, file here. And so I'm going to browse and um, find my folder here. And I've got a, a zipped downloaded copy of Podcast Generator. So that's going to go ahead and upload to the server and then it's pretty quick so it's just uh, less than two megs it's about a meg and a half and I'll refresh the uh, page here <clears throat> and now I'm going to extract this zip file um, so that all of those files are going to be available I will delete the existing zip file and then it will extract it um, I'm going to delete this Mac OS 10 which we don't need um, and I actually need to move these up to the root level. So I'm going to double click here and I'm going to select all of these holding down the shift key. And I'm going to say I want to move these and change the directory. So these are all going to move. And I'll go up one level. Now you can see all of these files are here at the root level of my directory. Uh, so I'll go ahead and delete the the folder there where they, they were in. Now, prior to this, I have done a couple things with my server and with my domain registrar. So I've got a uh, subdomain set up and then I have my DNS pointing to that uh, from my uh, host registrar. And so because of that, I'm going to go over here now to um, the website and I'm going to reload this page where we had all these errors and I'm going to just get the default setup for podcast generator. So I this is actually an Italian program, so it's available in Italian and English. I'm going to select English, and it's just going to verify that everything is writable. If you've got a hosting account with um, PHP, MySQL, you should you should be okay to go ahead and do this. Now I'm going to need to uh, create a username for my administration area, um, and then I'll go ahead and, and change these. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put, put in um, this username and password. Now that we put in our uh, password, we can go ahead and go right to the podcast. And basically, we've got everything empty here for us to be able to set it up. So we're going to need to log in. Now that I've logged in, um, I'll need to just do a quick configuration. So um, I can put in my um, podcast title, which is going to be LectureCasts by... Wesley Fryer, and I'll just say recordings from class. Um, these are lecture casts recorded by Wesley Fryer, 
in courses he has taught. All right, and I can put the copyright notice that I'd like to have. Um, um, choose a license here and just um, do an attribution. Say, say it's a Creative Commons attribution 4.0. Put in my name, put in an email address that works for me, select my feed language, and say that I have a clean podcast. All right, and now um, I've got the, the, the basic information set up. Now, when I click on home, I don't have any episodes at all in here. And I can do some other things going to my administration box and, and editing this box. But what I want to show you is how I can get all of my content from my past uh, episodes in here. So what I want to do now is switch back over to um, my cPanel. And there's going to be a couple uh, things I'm going to replace. The media folder right now is completely empty. And so I'm going to actually move the media folder from my old directory over here. So I'm going to delete the newly installed media folder. And then there's two XML files that I'm going to uh, replace. This one is called Categories. And then the other one that I'm going to get is called Feed. So um, I could just overwrite these. But what I'm going to do now is go into my temporary folder. And I'm going to move this entire media folder. Now this is about 600 megabytes or so. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it out of temporary and it's going to just move uh, up one level and then the other two files that I want is this is this one that's called categories and this one that's called feed. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say move. I'm going to move them out of the temporary folder and then I'm going to move them uh, up a level. So I can now go ahead and delete that entire temporary folder and when I go over here and return to my website and I refresh or reload the page, lo and behold, um, I have all of my recordings. And if I go up here to my archive, I've got these all in one category called class lectures. Um, then we're gonna we're gonna have access to all of these. So um, I do not know. <laughs> whether uh, we'll actually have very many folks who are interested in these. Um, but I, I had recorded all these and, and archived them. And so um, I thought, why not go ahead and preserve them? And so um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to do here. So when I click on uh, View Details of any of these, then I'll be able to um, have the little play button here to be able to play this. Welcome to day two of Computers in the Classroom. <laughs> and that's it. So I'll do some additional uh, customization of that. But basically, um, I figured out how to do that tonight, um, looking at some documentation that is available for Podcast Generator. And that might be something that you're interested in. And if it is, I'd love to uh, hear from you. You can uh, find me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter ID is... W. Fryer, and uh, go ahead and send me a tweet, or you can leave a comment on this video to let me know if you found this helpful. Thanks a lot, and good luck using Podcast Generator.